Right, you guys got another video. A lot of people are complaining that Copilot button is missing or it's not installed on their system. Microsoft are rolling this out slowly to people, so you have to be patient. But if you have an issue and it's not showing up and you've got all the latest moments for update for Windows 11, then I'm going to show you some of the things you can try to get this working, some of the workarounds that you might be able to uh, use to try and get Copilot working. So first off, make sure that you do have Moments 4 installed on your system. As you can see here, it's installed on this computer, but it's still not showing up in the actual taskbar here, and it's missing inside the task manager. So I'm going to show you how to go about trying to get this enabled and get it working on your system. Now, what you can do is be patient and let Microsoft do their thing and roll out this update uh, to you whenever they see fit. At the moment, it's region-based, and some people are not receiving it. And some people are saying it's missing and it's broken. So I'm going to show you some of the things you can try. So first off, let's go to our settings here. I've got the update installed, but I want to make sure that we've got all of the latest updates. Make sure you've got this one here. Get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Check marked and the rocker button should be on. Next up, we're going to go to our language and region and time. This is to make sure that you're in a region uh, that is going to get this uh, the fastest, and that is at the moment the USA. Uh, if you are in the UK, you might not have received this yet. Sometimes you may have done. I've received it in the UK on my main system, but on this one, uh, it's not uh, come down. So make sure you have got this set to United States if you want to try and force this to come down even quicker. You can change that back once you get the update down. Next, you can check the registry editor to make sure that the correct keys are installed on the system. So let's go ahead and go into Reg Edit here and open up the registry editor. Now, assuming that you haven't disabled this in previous videos that I've made showing you how to disable it, if you have, then you'll need to toggle that back on and enable it. But we'll assume that you haven't done that. And we're going to go into uh, the H key current user, then go down to where it says software, open this up here, go down to where it says Microsoft here open this one up further and this should give us access to this area here so what we're going to do is come all the way down here to where it says windows and find windows open this one up and uh, from here we're going to go into where it says shell uh, click on shell open this one and from there we need to see copilot you should see copilot in there uh, open this up and you should see bing chat because obviously copilot is related to bing chat and make sure that it says on. So this one's off. You need to make sure you double click on this and put this on one. So I'm going to put a one inside this box here and make sure it's on hexadecimal and put one in here and enable this feature. Now, if your button is missing, you can try going to this location and enabling the button to try and see whether it actually uh, shows up. So this location I've got at the very top there, you can see it, which I highlighted. Come inside here, and what you're looking for is a the word 32 bit value called show copilot button. So we're going to create one because there's not one inside here. And what we're going to do is put show copilot inside here and we'll put button. And hopefully, when we give that a code of one, hopefully, when we restart, it will put that button in. So we'll try it and see what happens. So it's not one here at the moment. And again, we've done this now. And what you need to do now is open up the Windows Store. So open the Windows Store up because we need to make sure that we've got all the latest updates in here. So I'm going to go to the Windows Store, go to Library, and you can see there's a couple of updates. So make sure you get all of the latest updates here. So update all, and we can get updates for all of these here. This will make sure that you've got everything updated, and you can see it's all updating and downloading on this uh, PC. So just be patient and let that do its thing. And uh, we're going to just let that download and we can just download this next one here, which is Dev Home Preview. So we're going to download this one as well and get this installed here. There is a little cloud thing thing here. So I'm going to click on the download option here and get this downloaded. There we go. And it's downloading the rest of this here. So once that's done, we've got all the options updated and uh, that should be fully updated. Now, what you need to do next is we need to go into uh, Edge to make sure that we've got the latest version of Edge installed on this system. So go to Edge and go about Microsoft Edge in the settings here. And what it should do is it should start updating, as you can see here. It's starting to update and give us the latest version. This will make sure 
that we have all of the latest versions updated and installed on this computer to give it the best chance possible to have this running on the system. So I'm going to let that update. It's quite a big update, so let it come down. And once that's done, we will need to restart our PC. So I'm just going to let that finish off. It's 100% now. It's just finishing off the updating process. And once that's done, I will restart the PC uh, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what else you can try as well. So just going to quickly restart the browser here, but you will need to restart the PC. I'm going to skip that process here and move on to something else that you can try, which is quite useful, which is creating a shortcut here for an actual command, which will open up Copilot. So right click on the desktop and click on shortcut here. And what you need to do here is put in this long command here. I'll leave it in the video description so you can copy and paste this. And uh, you can see here it's done this. Click next and give it a name. I'm going to call this Copilot. And once this is done, and uh, we can now click on finish. And you should see a icon on your desktop with the uh, Edge browser icon here. So once we've done this, we can click on this and straight away you can see it's now opening up Copilot. So temporarily you can use this method if you wanted to to uh, use the Copilot if you wanted to without having to make any other changes. So this one might be for people that are waiting for the update to come down and waiting for it to appear on their taskbar and they don't want to go for all the other changes. You can use this method uh, temporarily and to Microsoft roll that out. Also, there's the uh, Vive tool which you can use to try to enable this feature if it hasn't been uh, updated or enabled already. So download the uh, Vive tool and uh, basically all you need to do is hit the latest and download it here and extract that to your desktop. Um, the folder should now be unzipped on your desktop right here. So let's go inside here and I'll show you what's inside here. So I'm going to open this up and what we need to do is copy the path for this particular folder here so we can open this up in command prompt and run the command here. So let's copy the path for the actual folder. So I'm going to copy this path right here and this is for the path for the actual uh, Vive tool. So what we've got now is what we need to do is we can close this off and uh, we can now open up the command prompt. And uh, once we open command prompt, we'll be able to run this location for a change directory and go to that path rather than type it all out. So we're going to run this as administrator. And right here, you can see now I'm going to do CD space and that path that we just pasted. Push enter and it will take us straight to that location. Now we need to put this command in, which is going to basically run a command to enable the copilot. You can see here, there's a bunch of numbers here. There's five of them. You need to enable those. And you can see it successfully uh, set this feature as in a configuration to enabled. And now what you need to do is restart your PC. And hopefully, once you've done that, uh, it should be working for you. Now, of course, you can wait for Microsoft to roll this out for you. But this video is also for people that are having trouble getting Copilot to work properly. Now, one of the last extreme measures, what you can do if you are having an issue is uninstalling the actual Copilot update if you've got a major problem with it. I wouldn't advise you having to uninstall it if it's all ready to rock and roll and you're just waiting for uh, Microsoft to roll that update out for you, the rest of the feature, because they're trickle feeding it to certain regions around the world. And if this is the case, then you don't need to uninstall this particular update. But this is for people that are having an issue with the actual uh, Moment 4 update, you can uninstall it, restart the PC, and then uh, it should automatically uh, do a search for it, and then it will basically download it again. So what we're going to do is let this uh, uninstall, and then going to restart the PC, because it's asking us to restart here. I'll quickly restart the PC, and this should uninstall uh, that particular update, which was called Moments 4. So we're going to uninstall this and then once we've done this we can then check windows updates and get it downloaded again just in case something went wrong during that process you don't need to do this if your uh, pc was working perfectly fine you can see i've already started to download it and now we need to restart and reinstall uh, the moment for update but like i said guys only do this method if you've got an issue and again if you're just waiting on microsoft to roll out this update correctly to you then you just have to be patient because this is region based and it's going uh, certain regions get it uh, faster than others. So I have already received mine and I'm in the UK. I don't know why some people have not received it yet, but maybe it's because I'm signed into the uh, Microsoft account and it's rolled this out to me. But hopefully this video helps you out and you can uh, find some workarounds to get Copilot working on your system. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. 
Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.